In terms of the expectations at Copenhagen, they were, they were driven up phenomenally high by a number of considerations. Uh, for example, the fact that change of administration in the US, uh, the fact that the Chinese and other emerging markets had begun to recognize the importance of climate change and how that would affect their economies going forward. Um, and a number of other factors cause a certain amount of almost hysteria around the, the event itself. And it was clear from any level-headed assessment of Copenhagen that with effectively the American government's hands tied behind its back, no legally binding extension or new protocol could ever come out of it. I think there is a lot of momentum behind green and clean initiatives that will continue irrespective of, uh, of Copenhagen. And what, what drives our industry more is actually national regulation where uh, policies that, like the, the feed-in tariffs in, in various European countries that has a far more direct impact on, on our investment decision-making than, than longer-term things that would come out of Copenhagen. What would you have liked to have seen? Well, one of my concerns is, is sort of uh, increasing protectionism. Our, let's say, technologies that we invest in are, are global in nature. Technologies complete, compete on, uh, on the global arena. And uh, more cooperation uh, between various nations with different objectives and agendas rather than everyone digging into their own uh, positions uh, is what I had hoped would come out of it. We all hoped for something better, and I've heard it described as Slopenhagen or Nopenhagen or bad cop or uh, all sorts of stuff. I guess uh, we still remain very positive. We're at the beginning, really, of the renewables business. People have likened it to a third industrial revolution. Uh, we need to be investing, according to the IEA, a number close to a trillion dollars a year into renewables to in order to hit the 450 parts per million, which was mentioned in the... Uh, in the, in the thing that came out of Copenhagen at the end. And so today we're investing less than 100 billion, 97 billion last year. So we're very positive. That money will flow, capital will form. We have to be able to make some money because as more money is made in this sector, then more capital will flow and we'll get up to the investment levels, which are much closer to that which will bring us to the 450. So we remain positive. It would have been nice to get a better deal, but onwards and upwards. I think the fact that there was very little indirect um, indirection at all that came out of it makes us, I think, somewhat gloomy about the pace at which we can move into renewables and even nuclear, because the key that we're all looking for at the moment is some idea of carbon price. Where it's headed, is anybody going to put a floor in there? Or is somebody going to address the issue? Because until there's a view as to how much people are prepared to um, support the concept of a low carbon economy, it's very difficult to move forward with it because it just doesn't compete directly with uh, our gas activities. I think very clearly Copenhagen was part of a process. Its big achievement was that it got not only China, India, uh, Brazil and others to come on board as part of a dialogue. They had not been a full partner to that dialogue beforehand. Copenhagen has been uh, high on expectation and at least portrayed as low on results. Uh, it's clear that we didn't go as far as we could have gone. But at the same time, I think Cop Copenhagen marks clearly the first time that all countries are engaged into the debate about CO2 and what we can all do and must do uh, in order to limit the impact on our environment. And I think Kyoto was a group of them. Uh, Copenhagen has brought them all together and have strengthened the political will. And that for me is already a, a very good result as such. Now, as, as Thomas uh, was mentioning, of course, there's still a lot to do a lot of work, a lot of agreements to be found, and a lot of definition of what uh, eventually will be done. But for me, Copenhagen is extremely important because all countries are now engaged into this move forward.